In this video, we are going to establish a mycelium colony on Mars. Two, one, zero, and liftoff of the space mushroom Shaggy Main on its mission to inoculate Mars with mushroom mycelium. Just kidding. In this video, we're actually going to make a mini mushroom humidifier, which you can use to uh, help you grow mushrooms at home. Growing mushrooms at home is a fun and exciting hobby, and one of the most important aspects of growing mushrooms is making sure you have the correct humidity in your fruiting chamber. With the correct humidity, you'll get very large mushrooms growing, and you'll also get very high quality mushrooms. I often see people making these huge humidifiers, and they attach them to these really tiny uh, fruiting chambers and a lot of time it's just overkill. Uh, so we're going to make one today in this uh, little plastic container here which should be enough to service a very uh, small fruiting chamber if you're going to have sort of upwards of four, five or six uh, mushroom fruiting blocks in there. For this we're going to use five parts so we'll take you through all those five parts now and then we'll um, quickly throw it together. The first thing we need is a plastic container I like to get one that has latches on it to hold the lid closed. I also like to make sure it has a rubber seal on it. This stops humidity leaking out around the edges. The second is an ultrasonic humidifier. You can easily purchase these from an online store like Amazon. The third is a small 12 or 24 volt fan. You want to make sure it's nice and small so the flow of air is low. If it's too big, it'll try and force too much air through. Some screws to hold the fan in place. And finally, a plastic bulkhead. This is which you can attach a pipe to and run it into your fruiting chamber. So how we are going to make this is we're going to attach the bulkhead to one side of the lid and the fan to the other side of the lid. What this is going to do is the fan is going to push air down into the chamber. It's going to collect the humidity and the air is going to come out of the bulkhead here. And what we can do is attach a pipe to that bulkhead and run that into our fruiting chamber. Inside of the container is going to be placed our ultrasonic humidifier. And that container is going to be filled about three quarters of the way full with water. With that much water in there, there should be about one to one and a half litres of water that can be humidified and pumped into your fruiting chamber. Now you may have noticed I didn't uh, include a power supply to drive the fan um, on my list of things you need. This is actually a 24 volt fan, and this here is 24 volt as well. So one, I could uh, connect the fan to this power supply here, um, but you have to be careful that the fan isn't going to draw too much power from this, and they could have a risk of blowing it. Um, another thing you could do is actually replace this adapter totally. Now there is one small problem. This plug here is actually the American standard plug, and I need the Australian New Zealand standard plug. I actually wrote to the President of the United States of America and asked if they could change the American standard over to the uh, New Zealand Australian standard to make my life a bit easier. Mr President, can you please change the USA plug standards so they match the New Zealand plug standards? This will make my life a lot easier. Regards, Tom. But unfortunately I haven't had a reply yet. So in lieu of America changing its standards to suit the uh, New Zealand Australian standard, I'm going to have to get uh, an adapter for this. To make the lid we simply mark with a sharpie where we want the bulkhead to go to. You can just eyeball this. Then we measure to know how big a hole we need to drill. It's 44 millimetres. So you Americans understand, this is also 1.73228 inches. learn from this <laughs> make sure the lid's on a flat surface <laughs> all right off to the store I go to get another one
Hello. Let's try that again. Using a piece of wood to support the lid while you're drilling, you need to drill a hole for the bulkhead and a hole for the fan. The fan hole I'm going to have to file out to size. Ensure you leave enough plastic around the edges of the hole to drill some holes in for the screws. These holes must have some plastic around the edges for the purchase. Screw them in and then affix your bulkhead. Completed. So we have uh, completed the uh, lid here. Um, the humidifier device here uh, runs through the lid and there's actually a rubber bung on it which was able to, um, I drilled a hole and that was able to squeeze into that hole and that holds it nice and firmly. Um, as for the power wires, both the positive wires I soldered together and the negatives and um, I just had this little clip here at home which I was able to put them into and that fits perfectly on the 24 volt um, transformer which they supplied here. So that plugs in there and then all you need to do is switch that power on and it powers up the fan and the humidifier underneath. So I've got a container of water here to put this together, this simply just goes on top of the water like that there and we seal it up. Now when we need humidity, all we do is turn the power on and we should get a nice stream of um, humid air coming out of the bulkhead here. And as I said before, when we want to humidify a small chamber, all we need to do is run a pipe from this bulkhead into your small chamber. Hey guys, remember if you like my videos, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It really helps me out.